everyone and welcome back to Kayla's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing another review from David's Tea for you. So I've been wanting to do a whole bunch of reviews of some of my absolute favorite teas and so I've been going through and trying to kind of get through those. So today we are taking a look at my favorite matcha from David's Tea which is their vanilla matcha. I don't do very many reviews of matchas because one, I only ever drink the David's Tea's flavored matchas which have sugar in them because I don't really like plain matcha. So I, I'm not necessarily the best resource to know about how to have like the best matcha for trying to get all the benefits from matcha, but if you like matcha just because it's a tasty drink, I got you. <laughs> So I don't normally do reviews of matchas just because I don't really know that much about them. I'm not very invested in trying to find like a healthy matcha or anything like that. I just like the matchas that I think taste good. And David's Tea's vanilla matcha is absolutely no exception. I think that this one is absolutely wonderful. Um, the cool thing about this one is that it's actually made with coconut nectar and not sugar. Most of the time there's like cane sugar in the vanilla matcha, or in the David's Tea matchas. Um, so this one is actually not just cane sugar. So it is a little bit healthier. <laughs> so the ingredients in this tea are coconut nectar, matcha green tea, and natural vanilla flavoring. But this is what matcha looks like if you are unaware. Matcha is a powdered green tea. So it has been finely ground until it's basically a powder. So that's why matcha is so good for you because you're actually consuming the tea leaf, not just the nutrients that are being extracted from the tea leaf when you make brewed tea. So matcha green tea, as you probably know, is usually very grassy. Matcha is no exception. Matcha is very vegetal and grassy, but it also is supposed to have a, um, a natural sweetness to it um, because of the type of leaf that's used and the way that they um, process it. There are different grades of matcha. So there is a ceremonial matcha, which is like the absolute best matcha that you can get. And that is going to be super bright, vibrant, like basically a lime green. So the brighter the matcha, the more high quality is. I, as you can see, this is actually fairly dull. This is very low quality matcha. Um, so then when you get lower on the end, you're getting more to like, this isn't like a culinary grade matcha, which is just used for cooking, but this is probably somewhere in the lower end. You can just tell by the color. And that's because David's Tea is making a blend out of this, so they don't necessarily want to use the highest quality matcha because they're adding in other ingredients to it. And so if someone's trying this, who's not necessarily trying it for the matcha, which is what their flavored matchas are sort of for, um, they don't really care if it's culinary or if it's, if it's ceremonial matcha or a, a lower grade. So it smells very, it, not very, but it does smell lightly green. Like it kind of has some vegetal earthy notes to it, but it also smells like a nice sweet vanilla. So as I said in the beginning, I only like my matcha one way and that is as an iced matcha latte. Um, I have experimented with like matcha lemonades and things like that. And those are okay with some, some fruity flavored matchas, but for the most part, I really only like matchas as an iced latte. Um, I, I'm just, that's how it is. So the way I make my ice lattes is that I use cold water for them. You could use water at a green tea temperature as well. Um, so I do one David's Tea perfect spoon of matcha. Um, not their perfect matcha spoon, just a, a, a David's Tea perfect spoon. A little fact for you, the David's Tea perfect matcha spoons, five of them equals one David's Tea perfect spoon. They recommend using five perfect matcha spoons for a matcha latte like this. So if you're always making your matchas as a matcha latte, guess what? <laughs> if you have a perfect spoon, you already have the measurement that you need and you don't need to go buy a perfect matcha spoon. Anyway, one perfect spoon of matcha tea, three quarters of a cup of cold water, and then I use my little electric frother, just one of the handheld ones to froth it together. And then I'll pour that over ice. Um, I usually put it in one of these Starbucks cups. So then I pour it over ice and then just top it off with milk. And the amount of milk that I use kind of varies. It kind of depends on my mood. But usually I try to go for like half water, half milk. Um, and again, because this is 
powdered green tea, right? It's not necessarily going to dissolve into the tea. It does mostly, but you are gonna get some sediment at the bottom, so it's always good to kind of like mix it up. I love this matcha. It is, it's creamy, not just because there's milk in it, but because of that vanilla flavor. Um, what I like about this is that it's not, it doesn't just taste like vanilla. You still get some of the matcha flavor, but because it's sweetened and because of the vanilla flavor added, it, it just tastes like, kind of like a very, very light green tea made as like a latte or something. So it has that nice sweet vanilla note and then you're kind of getting like that green tea in the aftertaste. It's so good. If you are not necessarily a matcha lover, I definitely recommend the David's Tea Matchas if you are wanting to kind of try and get into it. The flavored matchas, I believe, are just, they're super tasty and they do have the added sugar, which means that they're not necessarily... So here's the thing. It is a lower quality matcha, so it's not quite as high quality, but you're still getting the main nutrients of matcha, right? Like it's still there, it still has matcha in it. It just has added sugar, and if you're like me and you're making it as a matcha latte, then you have the added calories from the milk. So it's not bad for you, right? You're still getting the nutrients, you're just also adding in calories. So, right, it's not, a lot of people are like, oh, the David's Tea Matchas are like terrible for you. And it's like, well, well no, it's still matcha. You're still getting the nutrients. It's still in there. You're just also adding in sugar and potentially milk, right? So you're just, you're having both. It's not like the sugar cancels out the matcha, right? You're still getting the benefits of matcha. With that being said though, it is a lower grade matcha. So there's not quite as many as there might be in like a ceremonial matcha, but it's still pretty good for you. So if you are looking for a tasty matcha and you like your matchas with a little bit of sugar, then I recommend the David's Tea Matcha. And if you like vanilla, the vanilla matcha is delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe down below and comment what your favorite matcha from David's Tea or just matcha in general is. That is all for now. So as always, happy sipping.